Greetings YouTube viewers, my name is Murdoch and today we're going to be taking a look through my high school sketchbook. This is one I used from grades 9 to 11, I used a different one for my senior year but that's for another video. Before we get any further, I think we should get back to my room. Another quick preface before we begin is that this art is from 4 5 ish years ago, so don't judge me too quickly, make sure to go check out my other videos so you can get a better idea of what I can do. Also, I didn't do too many like final art pieces in here. It was a lot of planning, so if I find the final art piece or have pictures of them, I'll put them on screen as I go through the sketchbook. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I didn't realize how much was actually in this sketchbook, so I might end up making it two parts, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll see how it goes. To start it off, we've got... Oh, some printed out images. These are for another project. I'll get to that when we get to that in the sketchbook. Uh, the actual first drawing I did was just uh, first day at school. Um, I remember we had a prompt. We had to draw something scary, I think. So I drew like a Frankenstein looking thing or a character that was scary. I don't really remember too much of it. Uh, next up, uh, we made buttons. That's what, jeez, you can tell this sketchbook got a, got a lot of use. Uh, so there's just a few ideas there. I don't think I have mine. I think it stayed on the class bulletin board uh, and stayed on even though I left for summer vacation. This uh, was my first day. Uh, we had homework on the first day. and It was, I remember on the whiteboard, there was a whole list of words we could choose from. There was like parrot, soccer field, uh, purple. I, I forget the specifics. But here's what I drew. Uh, there's the parrot. Then you can see there's purple. I don't really remember what the other prompts were. Uh, here's just some practice pastel work. And then here's the start of my first sketchbook project. So over the course of grade nine, we had, I think it was three sketchbook projects where we had to spend like a couple weeks drawing. And I think we had to fill 10 pages of one specific thing we want to get better at. So for this, I chose parts of a house. So I guess I started with two point perspective. Then I guess I went on to windows, doors. Uh, this was a brick wall, but as you can see, it's smudged all over this page. We've got some stairs here, some shingles for a roof. This was all stuff I did, I think like two days or a day before it was due. Uh, here's some lights, just a light bulb and like a lamp post thing. And then here's a plan for the final house. And the final house looks like this. It's not bad. I had to utilize everything I'd learned. So that, as you can see, there's the windows, the door, shingles, brick wall, and then the two-point perspective. Then moving on, we did Zentangles, which uh, that, I don't think you can see it in this, that painting slash drawing thing there. It's actually, jeez. Oh, uh, I actually did in grade nine, uh, and this is the kind of the start of it. Start of the planning, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's just a logo we had to make, or like we had to make a logo out of our initials. So M I, those are my initials. There's just some random Zentangle stuff. Uh, I think for this part, yeah, we had to make a print design. So something that would go on fabric, or I guess whatever you want. It was kind of confusing, and I'm gonna be honest, wasn't too big a fan of this. Uh, I don't think I have the fabric I printed anymore, but we ended up using none of these. We just used uh, an image we found off the internet, which was fine because that's the point of the project was based on the printing, not what uh, we came up with. Then moving on, we had a graffiti unit in grade nine, which is awesome because I love graffiti. So this is just kind of like the start, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I guess this is moving on to two point perspective. Graffiti came later. Uh, so, as you can see, this is just two-point perspective practice. This is the sketch second sketchbook practice where I chose to do Under the Sea. Again, this is all stuff. Like, I did, I think, the first two pages uh, earlier on, but the rest was, like, the day before. You know how it works. So this different stuff. So, we got stingrays. We got turtles. Um, uh, all coral is different. So, like, sea plants, underwater plants, stuff like that. And here's the final where I had to incorporate it all everything I've learned. Now this is more two point perspective stuff. Uh, planning the final project. I think I still have that. I'll put a picture of it on screen now if I can find it. Now moving into the graffiti unit. Uh, just my initials and A. Uh, we did a couple practice ones where we watched videos. These are, I think I'm coming up with words maybe for my graffiti. Here's, uh, we were looking into color theory. And here's me planning my 
first graffiti project of grade nine. Well, I guess only one, because that's we only did one graffiti unit. But here's more planning, I guess. Uh, this, just more planning. It needed to include a character, so that's why I included that. Uh, and here's the official first plan. And I'll put the picture of it on screen now because I know where this one is. Not the biggest fan of this piece, but that's okay. Uh, everyone starts somewhere. And then this is the third sketchbook project where I chose to do watercolor. Uh, just different techniques with watercolor. So you can see I did pen on watercolor. I did, I think this is, yeah, Kleenex or tissues on watercolor. Some water drops, uh, salt, give it a cool texture. Resistance, so like, uh, I drew on with crayon and then painted over saran wrap. Uh, alcohol, so like rubbing alcohol, you just drip drops onto it, as you can see there. And then just practicing having them run together and not run together. And this is the final piece. Yeah, you can tell this one wasn't wasn't too great, but that's all all good. Here we were looking at uh, typography, I think, and logos. So we had to turn our initials into logos, which we talked about a little bit previously. Here's the start of my final project. I actually have this hanging in my room as well. Uh, I'll put a picture on screen once I get fi finish getting through everything. For my final project, I wanted to include aspects of all the art I'd done throughout the term. So you'll see some resemblances on the final piece as with some of the art I've already showed you. And then this, first day of grade 10 art. I remember this. Uh, we had to draw something that represented intelligence, I think. So, I ended up drawing this. This was like, it took five minutes to draw. It wasn't that hard and that's, we didn't have a lot of time to do it. This, we were looking at different kinds of shading. So we had like stippling, scribbling, parallel lines. You just, uh, this was the beginning of like the ink unit. This, we had to draw a piece of popcorn and shade it with, with the cross hatching technique. Uh, pretty, I'm pretty happy with this one. This is planning. We had to combine two things that wouldn't go together. Uh, I think I ended up picking a guitar with like gems. I'll put a picture on screen when we get to that. Again, this is uh, working with fabric. So there was a chair covered in fabric in the middle of the class and we had to practice our uh, cross hatching with it. Um, pencil, copy little pan thing I drew. Leaf, uh, blank piece of paper, tree. Uh, really happy with this. This is just a quick little sketch of a fern I did in my backyard. Uh, more brainstorming for the project of this unit. Here is another piece of popcorn. Really happy with this one too. Here's kind of where I started with and I'll put the picture on the screen now of the final project. So grade 9 we had to do three sketchbook projects. Grade 10 we had to do one. I think it was only one. I guess we'll find out later on. This one, uh, the topic I chose was Halloween. So I just drew Halloween stuff. Pumpkin. Uh, we've got a skull here. I just, I think I watched tutorials for these. Some ghosts. Uh, candy. Uh, we've got some spider webs here. Brain, spider. This is mummy. I'm really happy with this one. Uh, I watched a tutorial for the basic shape, I think, but I think I did all the shading myself. Pretty happy with that. Here's a plan for the final project. Here's the final project. Again, uh, not great, just because I think I did it the night before, and I was also studying for a science test, I think. Oh, here's where we get into portraits. Uh, and this video has been going on for a while, so I think we're gonna get through grade 10 and then stop there, and then maybe you'll see grade 11 and 12 in a future video. But yeah, here's grade 10. So we have to take a picture of ourselves and just divide it into, I think it's somewhere, oh geez. I don't know, there was an example on the board and we had to divide it, so like nose, eyes, uh, distance from the mouth or whatever. I forget the, all the details, but yeah, I guess this is just, Portrait practice. This is terrifying. So is this. Um, here's a three quarter view. Again, I'm still not very good at portraits, but this was the beginning of them. Pretty happy with this. There wasn't a lot of contour lines or anything, but you can, I feel like you can tell it's me still. Same with this. That I remember drawing. It was terrifying. So my friend and I, we drew devil horns and like a devil tail on it. Yeah, that's, oh, my portrait. We had to do portraits with pastel. That was the final project for this unit. Uh, I don't think I have any pictures of that. Or I might, if I can find a picture, I'll definitely put it on screen. Here's me working with pastels, just practicing. Here's the picture I was gonna do. Trying to figure out color schemes. These, these were drawings of 
my first ever YouTube video on my other channel, which I actually did for school. Uh, we had to do a project where we had to do something we'd never done before. So I chose to do uh, wire sculptures. I'll put a picture of those on screen. And now for the final task, I think I know where this one is, so I'll put a picture on screen. But as you can see, it's just me planning stuff out, uh, working on some nose. This is a really cool eye. I think I watched a tutorial for this one. And yeah, this is was the plan. Eyes are looking kind of terrifying right there. But I think the final piece turned out better. So yeah, I guess let me know if you want to see grade 11 in a part two and cue the outro. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. Also, if you're new, hit the subscribe button so you can join a part of our community. Once again, thanks for making it this far in the video. I will see you Wednesday. Peace.